welcome back to Beauty Nerd Central. As you may be aware, I am putting together a sports related tutorial series. And in light of recent events, I thought I would do Boston Red Sox next, just to kind of remember all the good things that we're looking forward to in summer. So I hope that you like this, I hope that you enjoy, and I hope that you guys are on your way to healing. First, using OCC's concealer, just put that underneath your eyes and cover up any dark circles and redness that you may have. Now using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, prime your lids, get those lids ready for your eyeshadow. Now using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk, put this on the lid of your eye. You don't want to blend it, you want to keep it nice and saturated, so don't blend it. Now using a small detailer brush, this is Royal Lang, Royal Lang Nichols BX100, just soften out that line between your lid and your crease. Using a small smudger brush, this one is from Morph, and Inglot's 50B, just fill in that inner third of your eye and continue to build up the color until you've reached your desired saturation. Now do your outer third of your lid and leave the middle white. I'm trying to create a striped look. Going back to that small detail brush and using Ball Gown from the Cinderella Sephora palette, fill in the middle of your eye with that white color. Now using the same brush and a Wish from the Cinderella palette, soften out the harsh line between your crease and your lid. I use a wish because it's closest to my skin color. Use whatever's closest to your skin color. Now using a Makeup Geek Gel Eyeliner in Electric and an angled brush, line your eyes. Try not to wing out your eyeliner, just make it a blunt line. I've got a special idea for the tip of this liner. Using Rimmel Scandalize in Khaki, line your lower lash line. Going back to your BX100 detailer brush, pick up some more of that ball gown color and put it along your lower lash line. Now curl your lashes. If you remember from previous videos, use my special trick. Using your favorite mascara, apply two coats to your lashes. Time for lashes. Using the Demi Wispies in Blue from Ardell, just apply these to your top lash line. Using your gel eyeliner, cover the threading of the lashes. This gives it a more natural look. Now on your outer corner, using the same gel eyeliner, create what I like to call a reverse wing. So it's just an angle going up towards your crease and kind of defining that crease with that color. Using the BX100 brush, blend out that color so it doesn't look so harsh and so much like gel eyeliner. You want it to look a little more soft. Using the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette, the color Faint, and an angled brush, I fill in my brows. Again, using the BX100, pick up some of the color Charming and place it underneath your brows for highlight and lift. I decided I wanted to see the color a little bit more, so using your BX100, just kind of pull the color up over your crease. Using Beautique's Lip Liner in Real Red, line your lips. And finally, fill in your lips with your favorite red lipstick. And here is the completed look. I hope that you guys liked it, I hope that you'll try it, and I hope you guys keep coming back. Bye!